One of the challenges when I'm making my art is I don't know, because I don't know where it's going necessarily, and uh, that, that I'm trying to stand there in front of this thing and, and guess where I should put it. And I, I get in my head so much, you know, it's like, I like it, I don't, you know. But one thing that really, really works for me <laughs> uh, is not scratching around so hard for the solution, but asking myself a question. Questions are the most powerful tools we can use to figure out stuff, especially about our art, but anything. Asking a question can clarify so much. And it really depends on the question, of course, how good a question it is. So I thought today I'd talk a little bit about this idea and share with you a really great question. At least it is for me, and maybe it could help you too. The question that I ask myself is when I'm looking at the thing, <laughs> whatever it is, um, how does this feel? And I love this question because it, it gets at the answer, not up here, but down here. Like you can just feel something. You don't have to know why. You don't have to understand color. You don't have to know if the lines are straight or any of that. It's just, when I look at this, how do I feel? And at first it's just, you kind of have a nothing comes back. But if you ask this question a lot when you're working, you, you get more sensitive to that question. And, and then we can, we can, the next sort of follow-up question is, because usually it's, partly feels a certain way and it's like how do i want to feel what is the desired feeling you know like how does this feel and how do i want to feel inside do i want to make a picture that feels more wild more untamed do i want to make a picture that's more calm and and with all kinds of blues right like we have a sense of this, this is easy to to ascertain this sort of general feeling of things. Notice that that doesn't mean, it doesn't define exactly the colors, it doesn't define the subject matter, it doesn't define the size. I love that it stays open. But just that question, how do I wanna feel? And what does this feel like now? So like if I have this picture, this is something I was working on, and this, how does this feel to me? And, and how, uh, how I want to feel with this, like what this feels to me is it's kind of, there's a wildness to it and, and, and a, the parts that I like, the areas that I like where I'm noticing um, is, is a kind of uh, these broad lines going over these more textural areas and it's sort of free and there's, there's a, a sort of real scrappy textural wall quality to it. That's the feeling I want to have in this work. And then that will, I can then notice where that's appearing in the work. And then that gives me clues how to do more of it. So it's a great question to ask yourself. You can also do it when you look at uh, other people's work. You know, like here's a Richard Diebenkorn, early Richard Diebenkorn painting. And, you know, what am, where, wh where am I drawn? What do I love in this? And how does it make me feel? And, and noticing what parts work for you and how that makes you feel. So then you can take that idea and use it in your own work. But I'm learning how to connect with my body with the sense of what moves me and I can feel it inside. Like I don't love the, the upper right portion of this so much. I mean, it's not my work, but I love this, this middle bottom part on the left. And I love that and that feeling and there's these lines in there and there's this kind of overdrawn quality to the, to the work. That's so helpful to have when we're then looking at the rest of the picture. So I'm curious, what questions do you ask yourself? How, how are the questions that you ask yourself helpful and what are they? Um, this is one of the primary ways that I problem solve my work. And because I'm, it, it reminds me again what I'm interested in doing because I know how I want to feel. It's almost like I'm reverse engineering it. 
So let me know in the comments uh, your questions. I would love to, to read those. The idea for today's vlog came out of an awesome conversation I had with the amazing uh, personal development coach, uh, Scott Picard. This guy, what he does, and I've worked with him a long time, what, what he does is he helps you navigate this interior world uh, of, of feelings and emotions and asking questions, and I just love it. It's so, so fun. So check out this conversation uh, that we have uh, coming out on Wednesday. I think you'll find it really interesting and um, helpful. Thanks so much for being here, everybody, and I will talk to you real soon. Okay. Hey, everyone. If you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.